Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy TB and I'm back. Now this is a different and a new series. I don't know quite what to call it strictly because I have another friend that's a YouTuber that has a series sort of like this. And the only title that really came to mind was the same as his. So I guess that title comes when it comes. But essentially all I'm looking to do and all I'm going to do is realistically, if I could do it. Days that the Lakers have games, I'm gonna try to do a video on it, do my raw reactions, raw thoughts of it. Whatever games that fall on that same day as the Lakers, I'm probably gonna do as well because I live on the East Coast. So many of you know, Laker games and West Coast games, they start at 10 o'clock here. So normally they're the last game of the day. That's pretty much all I got for you guys. Um, there's really nothing else to say. But the first game of the day, first game of the NBA season was Philly versus the Boston Celtics. Now, first thoughts, Harden, who? Joel Embiid, who? He had a quiet 26, but he who? And then Tyrese Maxey, he did his thing. When you go further than that, their bench, did pretty much nothing. Matisse Taibo, he didn't play at all. I'm not sure if he's hurt, what's going on or whatever. He didn't play at all. D'Anthony Melton, it looked like was giving them solid minutes to come into the game, but I it didn't prove to fruition. Regardless of anything, their bench, it, it's obvious that it's not, it's either not strong or they're not put in a position to do what they need to do. Um, two guys that actually played reasonable minutes last year with Shake Milton and Korkmaz, they didn't play at all. So I, I don't know. Now, personally, I've always thought Doc Rivers was a fraud. So I'm gonna just leave that there. I, I understand why the starters are playing so many more minutes to start the season, because of course they gotta get their legs under them. They gotta be able to withstand that so that when you get to the playoffs, they could play 42 minutes, no problem if they need to. But regardless of anything else, aside from their top three, they didn't have much help. Now on the reverse end of it, I think Philly, they're just gonna need to get their groove and get into it with Boston. And something I was glad to see is they look like they're continuing Continuing where they left off from last year. As we remember last season, they started off the season horribly, like god awful, and they just turned it up come February. And this year, it seems like they starting where they left off. They actually look like they're pretty strong and they could get stronger as the season goes. Tatum and Jalen Brown, they both gave them a healthy 35. Jason Tatum was much more efficient, only missing seven shots, majority of them being threes. So if he can knock down his threes, which he normally does at a way more efficient rate than and two for seven. Yeah, he could have really gone for 40 realistically. Now, Jalen Brown, and I talked about this in my shooting guards video. Go watch that if you haven't already. He has a tendency to shoot outside of the team's offense. One, two, I don't know what it is about him, but he seems like he doesn't want to pass the ball. He finished the night with two assists, but I vividly remember a play where it was a steal, a breakaway steal. He had it. There's two guys ahead of him, Derek White, and I can't remember the other guy, but he could have passed it to him, but instead took it for or dunk. Now in 2K, that's something you do just to be a dickhead to your friends or whatever. I do it all the time. Or I'll even tell them I'm keeping this. There ain't no way you getting this ball back. But in terms of that, that's it was a weird look to me. I, I, I don't know what to think of there, but he shot 14 for 24, which was inefficient. I don't want to say his normal inefficient self because last year he was pretty efficient. Grant Williams did his thing three for three shooting from three five for five from the field total he had 15 points the one gripe about grant was his defense wasn't there he had a lot of fouls early but you know this this whole game was the whistle was being blown like crazy both teams had like 25 fouls or something like that so the whistle was being blown quite a lot now malcolm brogdon the new addition to the celtics he gave them a healthy 16 7 for 11 from the field and he had a plus minus of plus nine so he was a excellent addition to this team he did his job and honestly with him getting about 16 to 20 a night that could be something they look forward to every night if they could get that out of Brogdon and Grant Williams going forward. Their defense looked as strong as it did last year. We already know this team, they're destined for greatness. They shot damn near 60% from the field uh, and they shot 34 from three. The Sixers actually shot better from three, but they only hit one more three than um, the Celtics. So it wasn't really much of a difference there, but I will say from start to finish, Boston pretty much had control of this game. Now the first quarter, it was fairly tight. Philly what did win the first quarter. 
but that second quarter boston started to get away with the game and then the third quarter that's pretty much where they won the game outright jason tatum was his normal bucket self and i'll be honest with you guys jason tatum might have an mvp case this year i don't know why i didn't think about it why i haven't been on that bandwagon why i haven't driven that narrative but jason tatum look out for an mvp year possibly i still think it's luca but look out for jason tatum to be in the top three now the next game that i know you guys are all waiting for the reason you're here we're all lakers fans we know how it go lakers warriors the lakers unfortunately lost 123 109 the game was pretty much over by the end of the third quarter the third quarter the lakers had only 19 points every other quarter they scored at least 20 uh the first quarter was bad for both teams so a 22 25 score isn't bad but the rest of you know every quarter if the lakers were able to score at least 25 points they would have been okay the second quarter, they scored 30, and the fourth, they scored 38. Now, the fourth, it was garbage time, so we get it, but the third quarter was 19 points is very, that that's horrible. That's abysmal, especially when the team you're going against scores 32. LeBron had a he healthy 31, 14, and 8, but I'll be completely honest, it wasn't as good as a game as you would hope for and expect from LeBron. And what I mean by that is, he, he shot 10 threes. He started out the game 0 for 5 and ended up only hitting three of them. So he shot 30% from three from the game. As a team, we shot horrible. We had that problem last year. All we did this year was replace our old non-shooters with our young non-shooters. Now, Max Christie only got two minutes of burn. So did Scottie Pippen Jr. They're fairly young, so they're probably not going to get burned too soon. Austin Reeves, Kendrick Nunn, uh, Matt Ryan, Winnie Gabriel, those are the kind of guys that are probably going to get that run. But regardless of anything else the shooting was awful now back to lebron i need somebody on this team to reel it in for everybody's sake i saw a video the other day of jared dudley talking about his role on that lakers team in the bubble year and his role was essentially keeping everybody in check because the offensive staff that was there they didn't know if they could do that or not and he explained that you know, he was able to do that, especially as a player. We haven't had a guy like Jared Dudley since, and it's showing. You know, LeBron takes some shots where it's like, what the fuck are you doing? AD, he could get trigger happy, but last night was a pretty good indication of what he could and should do as long as he stays healthy. I would like him to have more than six boards, but you know what he gave us last night i could take especially if he's going to give us that the whole year and healthy russell westbrook and this is going to surprise me and probably surprise most people russell westbrook arguably played the best game for the lakers last night it, it's arguable he did he had 19 points one steal three assists and 11 boards now he did have four turnovers but the team leader in turnovers was actually braun with five so for being honest russ you can't be too mad at it, especially when he was providing everywhere else. Russ, he he looked like the kind of guy that had high energy, but again, didn't really have a role for him. I'm not going to be surprised if Russ is out of there by the trade deadline strictly because you can just tell it's not really a good fit, bro. I don't want to say running around because it makes it sound like he's not doing anything, but literally when he's on the court, you could tell it just doesn't fit. There's something off about the continuity in the team. And that's really most important above all else is that continuity. The Warriors, they look like them, their old selves. They did start out pretty slow, but once they got into their groove, you you know they look like the mo their old selves they look like the championship warriors that they are um there's not really much to say about them steph had a cool 33 he didn't really shoot well from three so that you know kudos to the lakers defense or it's just first game jitters one or the other i'm gonna go with lakers defense now that is one thing we can hang our hat on is our defense if, if there's nothing else we can hang our hat on um which there probably isn't it is our defense and that is one takeaway from this game that i can be positive about and be excited about i'm gonna try to at least take one takeaway from each game to be excited or positive about and that's gonna be the one from this game and that's our defense our defense has looked a lot more improved our defense looks like uh we actually care and want to play defense so we never really stop playing good defense we just stop hitting shots to match golden state and that's where you're gonna lose ultimately at the end of the day but that's all i got for you guys in this first iteration of 
our pending um, <laughs> series. As always, if you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your boy. If you're not new, you already know what to do. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Let me know what you think about last night's games and let me know who you got for tonight's games. Till next time, it is your boy TB with the greatest Who stories, debates, and conversations on the two. And I'm out. Peace.